Hey everybody, Game Scribble here, and welcome back to a brand new Fallout 4 Let's Play series featuring the Soldier. This is a uh, build based off of the uh, Fudge Muppet build called the Commando, and I will leave a link to that build in the description below. Uh, it's a really cool build, really fun to play. I've played uh, played through some of the game with it, and it's just you know an all-around fun build. Uh, I changed the name to the Soldier because I like Soldier better than Commando, but basically the same same idea. I've changed a few things around, uh, but overall the concept is the same. Uh, if you want the backstory and everything. Uh, to this build uh, there will be a link in the description to a fudge Muppets commando build but basically it's it's that build just a couple little tweaks as far as perks and stuff like that go so anyway without further ado well, let's get into this build the soldier has six strength one perception five endurance one charisma six intelligence seven agility and two luck and that's how we're going to start going into the wasteland so let's accept this character and that is it let's exit the vault and start this playthrough excited for this build series enjoy your return to the surface and thank you for choosing vault tech oh here we go Alright, so we're using a mod called Unique Wasteland Experience. You can pick uh, different starts uh, after you exit the vault. We're going to pick Haven't Decided Yet, which is the vanilla start. So this tells us our location is Vault 111. We have a vault suit. Our weapon is whatever we collected in the vault. We don't have a pet. And the description is you have just awoken from cryogen. Your spouse is murdered you set out on finding revenge. So we're going to say yes to Vanilla Star. Alright, now I'm using a couple of mods here. I'll do a load order uh, after a couple episodes of this, but um, first things that we're going to want to do is we are going to want to run down here and there is a dead soldier guy and this is the Sergeant Kelso. This is the Gunner Marksman Outfit mod. So you take both of these outfits from this person. Then there's like some soldiers over here. I'm just going to take everything that they have. These are Minutemen. And this is part of a mod called Minutemen. Militarized Minutemen, I think. Um, anyway, so after you exit the vault, we're going to come into this little area here. This is another mod. It's the Walther P99 pistol. We're going to take that. And now we're ready to start the game. I also have a mod installed called Zombie Walkers. And that mod is awesome. And these dead guys that we just looted uh, down there, they will awaken in a second here. Yep, there they are, and they've turned into zombies. Now they're coming for us. So let's go ahead and go into our inventory. Get our weapons. We got a 10 millimeter auto pistol and a Mac 10 that we picked up in the vault. But right now, we're going to use our P99 pistol. Ooh, yeah, I got you. Here's a switchblade, take that, some ammo, and a fan. Hey look, it's our biggest fan. It's our number one fan. Alright, let's start this game. This is going to be a great, great exciting playthrough. I'm super excited. In my last load order video, there was a, um, someone commented about these 
mods called Arbitration. And uh, his name was Corey Stevenson. So Corey Stevenson, thank you so much uh, for introducing me to these mods. They are absolutely game changing. Uh, it changes the combat and makes this game really, really uh, a lot more difficult. And uh, man, it's exciting. Here we are at our old home. Let's talk to Codsworth. As I live and breathe. Oh, it's, it's really you. All right, we're going to skip through this. Um, Codsworth, you're acting. This is kind of annoying. Codsworth just uh, basically is telling us uh, Stay with me, pal. Focus. it's been 200 years and blah, blah, blah. I think we've all seen this, so. Thank you, Codsworth. There they are. There we go. go ahead. Oh, shit. Let's use that. Nice. Yeah, you want to take the bloat fly meat. And I'll show you why in a minute. Take all this stuff. Take the glands. Take the meat. Alright, back behind here is a gun. We'll take that. It's a Mac 10. Nothing else really in here that we care about. Here's our old house. When you come in here, first thing to grab is this Grognak the Barbarian comic. Take that. And then when you come into Sean's old room, there is a book underneath of this table called Your Special. We're going to take that book and it's going to give us a uh, ability to improve. We are going to improve perception. Okay. Next thing you do in this room, come back here and grab this board game. It has nuclear material in it. And you can take this stuff if you want, scrap it. I basically pick up anything I can um, that seems like it's worth anything. And then when I open up the um, when I open up the workshop, I can store all this junk in here. Well, here's a safe. If I only had a bobby pin. We don't have any bobby pins. There's some bobby pins. Let's open it. There we go. That That's was easy. It. Just take it all. So let's take a look at our character. Here she is. She's got some blonde dreads going on. She is our soldier. Came back from the military. You can tell. She's pretty tough. Alright. So we can now use this to build up Sanctuary. And we exit out of it. And then we go back to it. Hit transfer. And hit the Y button to store all of our junk. And we're going to do that anytime we come back here. We can store all of our junk. So let's go talk to Codsworth. Hey Codsworth. Sir and young Sean. Mm -hmm. Thanks right. for trying, Codsworth. You can't keep up, Mum. So he tells us about Concord. Thanks for your help, Codsworth. So Good we say thank you. And then we're out of here. Going to Concord. Let's cut through this way. Now I know there's other things that you can do here. Uh, there's all these houses. If you loot all these houses, there's some other like hidden floor safes. Uh, behind one of the houses back there is like a little bunker you can go into and get some supplies. We'll do all that later when we come back here. Um, all right, now in here, there should be some rad roaches. Pretty sure. There we go. Maybe just one. All right, take the meat. I think that's it, just one rad roach. All right, you're gonna to wanna to check this mailbox. Just take it off. All right, now I hear zombies. I don't know where they are, but I hear them. Oh, there we go. 
There's one. Oh, we missed. Missed again. Oh, there's another one. Hmm. Alright, so... Take the tire iron. Take the dog meat. And we're going to jump up on this little hill here. Hey! And there's an army bag. We're going to take everything that's in it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah. We just kicked the shit out of the boat, boat fly. Hey, hey. There it is. Yeah, suck on that, boat fly. What the hell? Alright, let's go back into first person mode. Take the blue fly meat. Alright, talk me screwing around over there. We are now at the Red Rocket Truck Stop. A couple things you want to do is come here and grab the stim pack, grab these medical supplies, and we're going to go in. We're going to take everything on the shelf. Just take it all. Take the can, take the scissors, take the cram, whatever the hell that is. Just take all this shit. Now we're gonna come over here, take the wrench, take the stim pack, just loot all this stuff. Okay, now here is another workbench. Take the fan, open up the workbench. Okay, now exit the workbench. Now hit the X button to transfer and hit Y to store all your junk. And oh, there's dog meat. Let's go talk to him. Maybe now we can talk to him. What's up, hey, buddy? boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? Oh, okay. Well, let's go. Now dog meat is our follower, companion, okay, friend. Then. Let's stick together. Hey. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say to dog How meat. How you doing, buddy? I would like to dismiss him. Go on. Wait for me at home. And we're going to send dog meat right here to Red Rocket Truck Stop. I'm going to tell you why I do that. Because I can't stand dog meat. Sorry, he gets in my way. And I don't like using him. At all. I know, that probably pisses a lot of people off. I do like dog meat. I like the idea of dog meat. But dog meat... I mean, he just, he really gets in my way. And I'm trying to do my thing out here in the wasteland. And he's all bugging. Let's go ahead and check out our inventory. So we have the Gunner Marksman outfit. No visor and visor. It's got some pretty good stats to it. Uh, at the beginning of the game, it's kind of overpowered if you think about it. Uh, then we have a bunch of heavy leather armor. We have a bunch of leather armor, and then we have Minutemen uniforms, and a Minuteman helmet, and I think that's it. So let's pick some stuff to put on. Uh, here's the gunner outfit with the visor. Let's put that on, and let's take a look. That's pretty cool. Pretty good for a soldier. I say we just keep this on for now. Oh, here's some mole. Oh, look at the mole rats. Alright, you want to take the mole rat meat? Oh, good dog meat. Oh, we have leveled up. Take the mole rat hide. Take the mole rat meat. We want it all. There should be more mole rats popping up over here. Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? Maybe that's all. Alright, we're going to come back here too. And don't you worry. I will explore every inch of this place. For right now, we want to go to Concord and kick off the Museum of Freedom questline.
All right, let's go into sneak mode. This little big ass mosquito here. And he go. Where's the other one? There he is. Here you go. Cool. We can come out of sneak mode and put our weapon away. And let's go into this house. Alright, cap stash. Take it. Let's go upstairs. Now here there's a bobby pin box. It's a bobby pin and an ashtray. Not gonna be able to open the safe. Won't be able to pick this. Yep, thanks. That's what I just said. Take the jet and the buff out. We don't need to sleep because it's not time for that yet. Still daytime. All right, here's where things are going to get a little tricky. We have just discovered Concord. There are raiders up here. And these new combat mods make this game pretty tough. So we are going to go into sneak mode. I'm going to start here in the gunfire. They are fighting Preston Garvey in the museum. Let's sneak into this building and go upstairs. Take this glue and come over here and take this ammo. Okay. It's time to quick save. Let's pull out our pipe rifle. Now this only, I think we only have, oh my god. There's a zombie already. Oh crap. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry dude. Yeah. Okay, got that guy. Just take all his shit. Alright, you gotta shoot this guy in the head. Any dead raiders, any people that you kill, you gotta blow their heads off or else they come back as zombies. Alright, so now here's some zombies. Looks like that was a Minuteman, and that's a raider. We can come out of sneak mode because there's no actual raiders left. They're all dead zombie types, and they're pretty slow. So we can switch back to our pistol. Got to shoot him in the head. All right, got him. Hey, up here on the balcony. I've got a group of settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please. All right, so Preston Garvey says, please help us. I hear more zombies. Here's one. All right, so we leveled up. Go ahead and kill the zombie. See you later. Take these uh, energy fusion cell thingies. At some point we're going to run out of room. And we're going to be over encumbered. So we have to be more selective about the stuff that we take. Alright, so here's what we got. I have uh, equipped us with a Minuteman helmet. A Minuteman uniform. And then we have... A full set of leather armor uh, left arm left leg right arm and right leg and that is it so this is what we look like right now because we're a soldier and this is what we need to look like so we are prepared to go into the Museum of Freedom we have our pistol which is what we're going to use for now but I will show you what awesome gun we are going to get Let's go. Museum of Freedom, here we go. Don't forget to quick save. Alright, go into sneak mode. Let's use our pistol. Let's cap this guy right. Oh. Okay, hide behind cover. Oh, he's up. Bam. Okay, alright. Oh god, we're getting shot. Alright, now don't forget, we have a mod called Arbitration, and this shit is dangerous. 
these raiders are smarter all the enemies are smarter and they will they will flank you they are more deadly so you really got to think about it you can't just rush into these rooms anymore you really got to think about your combat choices you got to be tactical when you're clearing rooms see nice Alright, coast is clear. We're gonna go loot this body. Oh god. Oh god. Take the ammo. Nothing else we want. Let's sneak over here to this room. And we're gonna take a look at that M16A4 assault rifle. That's what we're gonna equip right now. If we have ammo for it, which we probably don't. We have eight rounds. This thing is pretty badass. We don't have a sight for it yet. That's kind of hard to shoot. And we only have eight rounds. So let's go back to the pistol. But there's another weapon that we're going to be getting. All right. Let's go down here and get this fusion core. Take all this. All right, here we go. Let's hack this terminal. Get this fusion core. All right, we did it. Fusion core, we got it. All right, let's do another quick save and let's go into battle. All right, here's a fun thing: Molotov cocktails. Let's light these guys on fire. Yes. All right, there's probably another one coming. But he ran through the fire. Sweet. Shotgun. We're taking the shotgun. Coming up here is the weapon we want to grab. Okay. Oh, got that guy. Look out. There's somebody coming. We're going to hide over here. Where is he? Okay, here it is. The automatic scar H. Let's go ahead and take a look. Automatic scar H. There it is. We have no ammunition for it yet. But we're going to get some. Let's keep using the pistol. Oh, there he is. Nice double tap. Take the Molotov cocktail. Alright, this guy. Sitting duck. Alright, take all this. Alright, we... Oh, there's a zombie. Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, sorry about your luck. Shoot him in the head. Now he won't turn into a zombie. Oh, hi, buddy. There you go. Shoot this guy in the head. There we go. Uh, hey, guys. Oh, jeez. All right, took care of him. Hey, what's up, everybody? All right, let's go talk to Preston Garvey. What's up, dude? Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. All right, I'm glad to help. I'm going to breeze through this conversation here. Glad to help. Please. So Go basically on. he tells you that uh, they're Sorry. stuck here and they Why have a plan to get out, but they need help. And, and then this guy says there's a, the 
oh, helicopter so thing that Vertebird bad. crashed and there's a suit of power like armor <laughs> and we need to get it. So we're gonna go get it. Minigun. And we're gonna now rip off a minigun. I know, right? It can be powered up. Right. I'll help if I can. What you'll need, sure. but we can't get. Look. Actually, so I already have, have a fusion core. Well, all right. <clears throat> okay. Take this uh, Robco <laughs> Fun or Robco Fun magazine. Nope. Then move it. And there's a bobblehead over here. Perception bobblehead. Take that. Excelente. All right. Let's go get the power armor and the minigun. And the next part of the mission is to kill all the raiders in the town. So let's go out here and get that done. All right, here's the power armor. Before we do that, we can level up. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we have two levels that we can uh, increase. We have two um, level ups. The first one we are going to do is Rifleman. Okay, now attacks with non-automatic rifles do 40% more damage. And so the next one according to the build um, from Fudge Muppet is Big Leagues. Uh, because you sneak around using like a combat knife. Not really sure I want to do that. Or do I want to do uh, pistols? Because I do love me some pistols. This gunslinger. Uh, let's follow the build though. We'll go big leagues. So we do 20% more melee weapon damage. So these are our first two perks. Alright, congratulations. Let's get back to the game. Alright, let's enter the power armor. All right, we are now in the power armor. So let's go ahead and rip this minigun off. And all, automatically it says you're carrying too much. And I'll show you why. Let's go back down here. So if you look in your inventory now, you have under weapons, a metal storm machine gun and a minigun. You have both of these. But let's go kill the rest of these raiders. There they are down there. I tell you what we're gonna do. Let me get our pistol back. We don't need the minigun yet. All right, we got one. Oh shit! Where's that other one? Oh, there he is. That's the other thing about this arbitration. Uh, oh my god. These bandits, guys, these raiders are so much more accurate. And they use cover a lot better. Alright. Let's use our vats. Oh, that's gristle. the main raider guy now crystal has a key he's pretty important because yeah there you go shoot that right out of the air there's crystal want to try and kill him if you can now remember where his body is because he's got a key on him that's really important. Okay? Alright, normally I would just jump down there. Uh, maybe we'll... Oh, God. There are a lot of raiders down there. for it. Oh my god. 
We are on fire. We are on fire. Let's use a stim pack. All right, here goes nothing. Where are they? All right, let's find Gristle. I think he's in here. Nope. Oh God. Yeah. All right. I think that's Gristle. All right. Here we go, the Corvega storage key. You want that. All right, let's loot these guys just for ammo and like Molotov cocktails and shit. Hey, what's up, zombie? See you later. These raiders are hitting me. See, they're all the way down here. Yes, got him. Let's kill this zombie here before he sneaks up on us. Have a good night. See that truck's on fire, it's gonna blow up here in a second. You can try and pick off these raiders. That, oh, nice shot. Look, there we go, bam. Everything around that truck is toast. All right, now pretty soon, this big death claw is gonna pop out. Here he comes. Alright. Let's get the hell out of here. There he is. Now's when we want our minigun. Let's grab this minigun. Where is he? Here he comes. I'll quickly go inside. Here he is. Just lay on the heat. Mowing down. Got him. We got him. All right, we gotta clear out the rest of these raiders and zombies. Ooh, well we got that guy. I'm just gonna get these zombies. Got that guy. Got that guy. Hey, what's up, dude? Got that guy. Goodbye. And that's it. Now we go back in and talk to Preston Garvey. All right, let's talk to these guys. Was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. Thanks. Feelings mutual. The feelings mutual, Preston. You can never have too many friends. Not in the Commonwealth. All right, let's blow let's... through this conversation. You're welcome. Let's say you're welcome. He's well, going to give you some stuff. He's going to ask you to go right, to uh, sanctuary. Oh, and you say, yeah. That's what now Mama Murphy starts talking her jibber-jabber. And I'm sure you all know this part by now. Mama, all right, after this episode, we'll... We'll start getting into more dialogue. I just want to get through this and get to Sanctuary. And All right, so these guys will meet you at Sanctuary. Let's go there now. We are going to fast travel back to Sanctuary. But first, let's take the Deathclaw meat, hand, and hide. Cool. Now we're going to fast travel back to Sanctuary. All right, so here we are at Sanctuary. We are going to get out of this power armor. Okay, we are out of the power armor. Alright, now we're over encumbered. 
But let's pick up all this junk laying here. Duct tape, wrenches, all this kind of shit. Everything in the toolbox. There's a shovel. Take it all. Well, let's come over to the um, workbench and transfer all of our junk. Okay. We're still over encumbered, but that's okay. And we're going to go to this weapons workbench. And we're going to transfer some of our weapons. There we go. Now we're not over encumbered anymore. Now we are ready to really get into the game, do some missions, help the Minutemen, try and find Sean. Um, so if you like this video, leave a like. Leave a comment. Let me know um, how your build is going. Uh, play along with us. Uh, make a build and, and play along as you watch this. And let me know how you're doing with that. Uh, let me know some of the things you like about the game. Uh, some of the things you don't. Let me know some mods that you're using that you like. And um, as we go through this playthrough, I'll be highlighting some of the mods that I'm using. And again, if you like, leave a like. If you got something to say, leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And hit that bell notification so that you get notified of all the content coming out. And... Once again, thank you for letting me be a part of your day, and we'll see you in the next video.